Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. We have the indefinite integral of cosine of the natural log of x dx. If you'd like a little hint, this integral boomerangs. So jumping right in, in order to make it boomerang, we're going to have to apply integration by parts twice. And really, you don't have too many options because we cannot pick cosine of natural log of x to be dv. We don't know it's antiderivative. So this uh, part of our integrand has to be u, and then just plain old dx is going to be dv. So but we're going to let u be cosine of natural log of x, and then dv is dx. So when you're finding du, be careful. Don't forget to apply the chain rule. Derivative of cosine something is negative sine something. And then the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x dx. So we can clean this up and write it as negative sine of the natural log of x over x dx. Good? All right, and then v is just going to be x. Nice. Now we apply our biparts formula. So the original integral cosine of natural log of x dx is going to equal u times v, so that'll be x times cosine of natural log of x minus integral v du right here. And observe, these x's will cancel out, so all I'm going to have to integrate is negative sine natural log of x dx. Let me switch this to a plus since those two minus signs will cancel out, and we're good to go. All right. Now, we have to apply by parts one more time to this integral that remains here. And I'm going to now start calling the original integral i. All right, so here we go. We still have x cosine of natural log of x just hanging out there. And then for round two, we've already used up the variables u and v. So we need to switch and use something else. Let's try u bar and v bar. So let me scoot this down and then we'll let u bar be again sine of natural log of x and then dv bar is dx. Just call it something else because we've already defined u, dv, and v in the problem earlier as something else. du bar would be cosine of natural log of x times 1 over x. So let me just put it over x dx and then v bar is x. All right, so this is i. We have i equals x cosine natural log of x plus, then we have u bar v bar, so that's gonna be x sine of natural log of x minus integral du bar v bar. Again, these x's will cancel out so then we just have cosine of natural log of x dx. Good? Well, hopefully you've noticed our beloved boomerang has come back to us. Integral of cosine of natural log of x dx is how we defined i. That was the original integral of the problem. So I'm just going to treat it like some unknown variable quantity that we're solving for. This is i as well. And now my goal is to solve for or isolate i. So let me add i to this side of our equation basically so that it cancels out and then I'll add i over here and then now we have 2i equals x cosine of natural log of x plus x sine of natural log of x and then one more step and we are done just divide by 2 so my integral is equal to you know we can also factor out this x let's do it it'll make it beautiful x over 2 times cosine of natural log of x plus sine of natural log of x plus c. Don't forget the plus c, and we are done. All right? How did you solve it? You could, if you need to, in the very beginning, make a substitution and then do by parts and then go back and sub if it was just too much with the chain rule, but I think you should be able to handle it. This is like the cleanest way to do it. Um, boomerang integrals come up also when you have a product of an exponential function and trig functions, particularly sine and cosine. So I've done a few um, previously on this playlist, so I would check it out. And another popular integral that boomerangs 
is Seeking Cubed of X. But that one boomerangs not because you do multiple rounds of integration by parts, but because you use a trig identity after the first round. So if you're just aware of all those scenarios, it's helpful because you will encounter them in your math career. Oh, you betcha. All right. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and you can also catch me on Instagram, TikTok, Math with Professor V. I'll be back with more content.